tell you when we're actually live because it'll pop up on my Mac, uh, not my Mac, what's that thing that I've got? Chromebook mm. that I've got here next to me. So, uh, oh, there we go. It's That's my phone telling me I'm on. You could be yeah. using your Chromebook for doing what we're doing and do it the other way around. It's all right. I've got my laptop now. This is doing it. Eh? I'm using no because the Chromebook won't. This won't work on Chromebook. The um, um, Streamyard won't work on a Chromebook because Chromebook's essentially a, a mobile device, isn't it? And it's not. Mm. This is not set up for mobiles, so it's has to, for mobile devices. It has to be a laptop. Oh, because I'm on a Chromebook. Yeah, you can use a Chromebook, but I can't host with just no. with a Chromebook. I have to have um, a proper laptop so to do the hosting. So uh, um, anyway, 16 people so far, it says on there. So we've, we, we are actually now live and you're on the pop. No, is it? It, you know, it literally is dilute orange water, nothing else. Oh, damn, man. Well, and, you're on that, so how's I, it going anyway, your fat fighting thing? Oh, yeah. Well, and, and a drop in. Poof. Uh, New Year's Day, uh, and not no sort of resolution or anything, and uh, and just changed all the crap that I've been eating, and I've lost like I think it's seven and a half, eight pound. So, oh, cool! Sorry, right, it? be a tenner. Yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> which is all good. I mean, I don't want to be perfect because oh shit, can you imagine? Yeah, but it's all right, isn't it? It's all right. Yeah, good man, good man. Uh, anyway, let, let's uh, say welcome to Raconteur's News. Um, uh, this show is called Mario Regis. Don't you dare throw that frisbee in here. Um, <laughs> and the reason for that is uh, it, it's, uh, it's, it's it's a bit of a uh, an homage to me mate Heath. Because when we were when we were knocking about together when we were kids and we were wagging off school and going to uh, gonna. Um, Go on, getting on a coach to go to Skegness and things like that, you know. Surely um, not. <laughs> no, ah, yeah, Joel, so we'd be coaching, um, uh, coaching, going to Skeg, Skeggy. You, you know, that one that took about, about four hours because he went to Peterborough first. But it was cheap. <laughs> but yeah, but it was cheap. He went to Peterborough first. It took you about fucking five hours to get to Skeggy. <laughs> and then when you got there, there were no else to do. You got five, you got 10 hours fucking traveling all lot, and you were going for a day trip. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, me and Heath used to do that. And, and one day, because me and Heath, he, he, we used to try and outdo each other and try and embarrass other person, you know, in public. And we were on this, co- we were on, um, we were on this coach on his way back and um, you know we're all quiet we're all deathly quiet and we were just everyone sat there most old, old pensioners were asleep and and stuff and you know what you get on on coaches back then uh, <laughs> and uh, suddenly Heath just stood up and just screamed at the top of his voice Mario Regis don't you dare throw that frisbee in here and then just sat there <laughs> and it was just this the most surreal thing and uh, we've both we've remembered it remembered it ever since so uh, that that uh, uh, Dinny is uh, who the fuck Mario Regis is <laughs> so so now you know now you know uh, so yeah welcome to Raconteurs News tonight me and AD we've got some stuff to talk about and um, we've uh, this has perhaps been a, prompted by um, a letter that I've had from the NHS today which is we're, we're quite Excuse devastating me. but we're going to we're going to talk about that um a little bit later on um there's plenty of other stuff to talk about like um, this what's going on we why has he left the why has he left the uh, the, the the royal bosom, Prince well, Harry. Does he, that, does he know think, what you think? Well, I think there's two ways of looking at it. Either it's him going, look, you bastards, I know that you killed my mum, <clears throat> and I'm not really sure that he's even my dad, because I think it's him. So we, I want out. Um, or... It's it's them saying, well, I'm sorry, but we can't be having you marrying one of those. So, off you go. But what what uh, a, a, a magical turn for people who make conspiracy theories 
because there's going to be so many and when, there's no matter what happens, we're never going to get to the bottom of it, but we're going to have some fun talking about the things, the, the, the reasons that it could be, you know, is it because she's um, allegedly, I, I can't see it, me, but allegedly she's a different race um, to, to, she's supposed to, her dad's black, I think, something like that. Anyway, uh, so she's she's mixed race, um, and we know they don't like that. They don't like you know interbreeding. We we mix races and stuff. But uh, I, they, don't, you know, they don't mind Hewitt Hewitt Gingers. They can see past that, can't they? Yeah, well, they know, don't they? I, this is what I. This is what uh, this is what I, everyone knows. I, I don't know whether it's sort of him saying, "Look, I know as well." I know, I know what what the fuck these fuckers have done. So it's, I, I, you just don't know. But it's what brilliant fodder for people, uh, conspiracy theorists like us ourselves. There must be hours and hours and hours and hours of stuff out there about it. You know, talking about it. But and, you know, uh, the the only thing we'll ever know is whatever comes on the through the normal mainstream sort of media will be the only thing that it isn't. Anything, any other thing could be the truth, but what they're telling you won't be the truth. It well, that's, be, that's the same with everything, though, isn't it? Everything's twisted and manipulated to suit the agenda. So, well, we'll to see how it all plays out. Isn't she supposed to be up stick? I have no idea. I think she's supposed to be up stick or summer. Now, perhaps they don't want to be having children around Prince Andrew. Well, she's she's not had a good year, really, Mummy, has she? Because uh, you know, there's been the Prince Andrew thing here, and now this, and uh, you know, how how small's the family got to get if there's nobody left to take over? Wouldn't that be good? Oh, yeah, wouldn't that be good? Sack the fucking lot of them. Off you go. Hey, maybe she's our mole from the inside, and she's <laughs> gradually she's before, gradually getting rid of everybody. Monarchies have been fucking taken over before, and yeah, Saul <laughs> Bollocks as well has said it's a great distraction. And it yeah. is. Of course it is. Yeah, but, you know, it's just the theatre, isn't it? It's just the theatre, that's where it is. Oh, but it's brilliant, though. You, you get to speculate about it. You get to talk about it. You get to come up with these uh, these scenarios. Um, is she saying to him, you know, I don't want you? Because, you know, he, he might have... It's just mind-boggling, and it keeps people talking, and it keeps people like us talking, the same way that it keeps the mainstream media talking. I looked at I had a quick look today on uh, at Sky News and at BBC News, and they were all, all talking about it. And uh, you know, there was this woman on, and I thought to myself, you know, this is just all fucking this. This what you're talking about is bollocks, because she's going. Then we have to. We have to um, find out who is going to pay for their security. Are they going to pay for their own security? Are they going to? Is Prince Charles going to pay for the security? Well, Prince Charles ain't got fuck all. He inherited everything that he's got. He ain't earned a fucking single bastard thing. So you know, it, it just but, but why? It but it's just all for the masses. And then there's this silly con. Oh, I don't know where he's, he's somewhere in London or somewhere, and he's got fucking hat on, you know, silly hat with um, Union Jack on it, and that. Oh, and yeah. He's proper royalist, um, proper royalist type bloke, and he, he's he's very angry with him, very angry with Prince Harry. Oh God, now what do you reckon? I mean, it's this like a stroke? Because Meghan Markle, here we go. Here's a conspiracy theory for you. Is it uh, due to Meghan Markle is part of the Hollywood stuff because she she's been in films, hasn't she, and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as, as I, I'm to believe she's an actress and stuff. Is it has she done it to draw attention away from Ricky Gervais calling everyone in Hollywood hypocrites and pedos and stuff? Is Could it that? Be. Mm -hmm. Could be. So, uh, you know. You know, they love uh, royal family in America. Americans, they love them, don't they? They love the royal family. So yeah. the fact that, uh, that, that, that they're running away from it, come on. Yeah. You know, and, there's, there's both ways of looking at it, you know. And the realistic one, if, well, 
it it's hard really because has he got a brain like a normal person i don't think he out of all of me he maybe has but is he is he daft enough to think that they didn't kill his mum could could that it could do, do you know what i mean yeah i, I do know what you mean it, and it's because i think that's a clincher what you've got to remember is he's, he's got to be aware of all this speculation mm. online about um, him looking like James Hewitt. And so he perhaps, because Diana were felt like an outsider, um, you know, he probably thinks he's an outsider. It's probably what Diana should have done. She probably should have gone. But I saw somebody had uh, posted something, um, a piece that said suggested that Diana faked her own death. Oh, which <laughs> maybe she's living with Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> yeah, perhaps she is. Yeah, uh, and and soon to be Ricky Gervais. <laughs> <laughs> we'll still be wearing t-shirts with Ricky Gervais didn't kill himself. Yeah, do, do you think it's getting that bad for him? I, I don't know. I have got. I've got no idea. It's it. it you never know who to. Of course, you know. You just watch and you and you you just look on as an observer and, and that's all you can do. You can't you can't take any of it seriously. Even this Iran stuff, mm. you know, it's for me it's laughable. There's not going to be any people are talking about oh, is there a third world war and World War Three is going to start and all this and shit. And people are shit in this sense. There's not going to be any war anywhere near here. There's not going to be any war anywhere in America. America, there's never been war on American soil. Foreign foreign invaders. So it's never going to happen. It's not going to happen. There's not going to be nuclear bombs. There's not going to be any, or any of that. It's just going to be proxy wars in the Middle East. And we need, instead of fucking shitting ourselves about what, what might happen to us, we ought, we ought to start coming together and trying to stop these things happening to other people. Because we see more right week when it's other people. When we see more right week when a bomb's gone off in 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 Baghdad or um, you know or, or uh, so what's happened in Tehran or whatever, and it's a fleeting. Uh, or uh, there used to be back in day um, after uh, not long after uh, we so we pulled out of Iraq, there were bombers every day, and there'd be hundred people killed and it'd be on news and that'd be it just once there'd be no nothing else and mm. you know it, 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 we, that's what that's what we need to get over we need to stop shit in a sense about what might happen to us and uh, and start trying to stop what's happening to all the people don't don't get upset about it don't get just just try and stop it do whatever you can and wh as little as you can do it don't matter it's still summer isn't it I mean, it's fairly well researched that <clears throat> um, the think tank back in, what, 2000? Um, when they listed all the countries they wanted to invade. Uh, yeah. Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Libya, you know, and, and, and they said they were going to do it. And, uh, and then they said, well, you know, we'd need something like a Pearl Harbor. Oh, 10 months later, we have Bush's new administration comes in and goes, oh, yeah, <laughs> there you go, bang. And the same people who were the think tank are the ones who became the Bush administration. Then we get 9-11. Oh, look at that. There's the Pearl Harbor we needed. But you see that you're talking about PNAC document, aren't you? Yeah. Project for a New American Century, yeah. where they said um, that it were, they weren't going to probably not get this through a lot uh, unless they're another Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's uh, you know, so, so, the, so this Iran thing, I think is this second or third time they've tried? Because it's on the list. You know, it, it, well, it, it's never not gonna happen because it's on the list. You know, it's gonna happen somehow, some sooner or later it's gonna happen. But back in back in the day when Dick Cheney Remember yeah. Dick Cheney? Dick. He, when he was still about, there was a, um, uh, a parody song uh, with him singing. He, he would, he were in it. It was bomb, 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 bomb. He ran. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. 
What's that? I sent it, yeah. I posted that on Facebook and nobody saw it. Not a single person saw it. I posted it. Twenty. To, uh, I posted a version from 2014. 2014. So Sorry, yeah, 2014. Yeah, yeah. It's so six years ago, and they were talking about it then, bombing Iran, bomb, 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 bomb Iran. And it's, like you say, it's the... Do the, you the, want to play it? <laughs> yeah, go on, play it. Uh. <laughs> I've got the wrong glasses on. Hang on a minute. It's the Greater Israel Project. That's what it is. It's clearing that all that place out. Yeah, of course it is. For the because Greater Israel Project. The, um, but, oh, here we go. No, I mean, the world's controlled from Israel. Anyway, hang on. Oh, come here. Come here, play. This is a quality production. Yes, from Raconteur's News. Brought to you by WhatsApp. And that was from when was it? Well, I first heard that in about 2008 when Dick Cheney was still. Um, yeah. Because, well, I mean, Cheney was president and, you know, all right, he was on advice, but he, he, you know, when, he, when he got Bush to go cut him, comb his own hair, you know. Um, well, yeah, Dick Cheney, a fucking great, horrible piece of shit he is. Oh. A fucking proper, horrible piece. A disgrace piece. to the race, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what race he is, to be fair. I don't think he's human race. I think he's probably some lizard or something. I, I don't know if he's, if he's dead or whatever. No but idea. I'd be surprised if he, if he were still about. Mm. But, yeah, that, I mean, that was, this Iran thing, it's been going on since 2008, I remember. Long time. Uh, but um, did you – I don't know if – I know you're not into football. Mm. And to be fair, it's not really a football um, – it's not really a football – subject but uh, there is a footballer who plays for port vale yeah um it's called tom pope and he tweeted uh that i think he tweeted something like only iran north korea um syria and somewhere else to go and then the rothschilds will have a, the full house on the banking wow and he's, and he's been investigated for fucking anti-Semitism. <laughs> oh he's it's being investigated by the FA for anti-Semitism and they'll fucking drop the book on him. Now, I hope he sticks to his guns and says, no, this is fucking true. Have a look. They're the only ones without a Rothschild bank. Yeah. You know, so... It, it, I hope he stands up for his sin. I really do. It would be good if he does. It, he'll be bought off somehow, won't he? I don't know. I don't know if he can be bought off. I mean, he's a, th a, a third division footballer. He, you know, he's, he, he so, came to prominence. He scored at Man City for the week mm. in an FA Cup game. And uh, he came to a bit of prominence. And then they've obviously been looking at his tweets. He's not. Uh, he's not. He's not considering suicide, is he? No, I doubt it. I doubt it. I don't think anybody is now. Now the the uh, the mental health people have got at football. You know, it's it, they, do you know that what they did? This is fucking ridiculous. Over the weekend, not last, not not this last weekend. Oh, it might have been last weekend actually. But anyway, what they did is all football matches started. You know, if it starts at three o'clock, mm. it started at three o one. Right in in. Four. <laughs> this is fucking. This is brilliant. This. It was uh, the the campaign was a uh, take a minute to think about mental health. So there you go. So there's a minute added on be before you can watch football, um, so you can think about mental health. Like you want to fucking think about mental health. It's Saturday. You know you've had a few beers and you're watching your football match. It's your weekend. You've been working all week. What? What? Yeah. Just ridiculous. Yeah. Complete. It's the world. The complete world. Let's say hello to some people in chat room. I don't know which chat room. Uh, we've got Car uh, Denny's in there. Good evening, Denny. I hope you're all right, my old mucker. 
Um, Blazing Stars, Ron Malcolm, uh, Organic Love. Good evening to you, Organic Love. Uh, Ron Malcolm again. So we've got uh, quite a few people in the chat room. And if you want to uh, join in, join in, please use the chat room here on Raconteurs News. They're, they're, a, good, uh, they're a good bunch. <laughs> And we've got some good moderators in there as well. In fact, every, just about everybody's a moderator. I'm going to say everybody's a moderator, aren't they? <laughs> well, I'm not. <laughs> Dinny's not either. <laughs> no. no. Well, Dinny were a mod on old raconteurs news, but, you know, he's... he's uh, uh, well, he handed his notice in, shall we say. <laughs> I know, but it doesn't matter. People change. Oh, yeah. We all, God, we all no, change no, our minds. It matter about that. No, no, no. Anyway, we'll come round in a full circle and love each other again, don't we? Eventually, well, of course we do. Of course we do. Well, me and Dinny always had a a bit of a fractious relationship because we both speak as fucking truth and we both talk. You know, as we speak as mind. We like what we say and we say what we bloody well like. That's me and Dinny. So uh, it were always yeah. a little bit contentious and fractious between us, but. I think they were always respect there. They were on my part anyway. Um, and so, uh, yeah, Dinny, I was like, lol. <laughs> um, yeah. So, what? Um, what were I, what were we gonna? Oh do? no! Tell me about your letter. I've had a letter. Oh yeah, my, my letter. Right. So, hang on. J just in case, you've got to do a little bit of a backstory of over the what past two years in just. 30 seconds just to jump people up to where we are. Yeah, well, anybody who's who's been, uh, who, who's listened to RN for, you know, for I know there's a lot of people that have listened for quite a long time. Uh, we'll know that I've, uh, over the last couple of years, I've had uh, a lot of um, health issues in my lifetime. 2015, I had a heart attack. In 1997, I had a heart attack. I've got this, I've had all this stuff. I've had my leg amputated last year and almost had my other leg amputated this year um but it's been managed to be saved by it's managed to my leg has managed to be saved by someone that might kill me <laughs> which is weird so anyway i got this letter today i'm going to read you this letter so please bear with me as you can see um i'll just cover me shit up but uh, sheffield teaching hospital uh, there you go. That's uh, all. You see the letter, right? So I, I'm going to read it out in full, <clears throat> and and just bear in mind all the shit in my head that I've been through in the last fucking two years. And it anyway. So here we go. Dear Jason Holmes, nice start. We are writing to you as you have received a treatment to improve blood flow, which involved a, the use of a drug called Paclitaxel. P-A-C-L-I-T-A-C-A-X-E-L. -E right, so that's the drug. This drug was either coating a balloon which was opened in one of your blood, blood vessels or was incorporated into a stent placed in the blood vessels, which releases the drug over time. The drug reduces the speed at which cells grow inside the vessel, causing it to narrow or block again in the future. The use of these devices was approved at the time of your treatment, and the evidence suggests that this drug ensures that the treated blood vessels stays open for longer, and there were no concerns about the safety of the drug at that time. Can you tell what's coming yet? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Since your treatment, evidence has come to light, which led to some safety concerns. This evidence suggests that the use of this drug may be associated uh, with an increased risk of death over two to five year, over a two to five year period. Right, so not, you know, you might have this. No, it's death. This is what they're telling me: death over a two to five year period. Death. Not, not like you know, you might, you know, feel ill or something. This is what they've done. This drug may be associated 
with an increased risk of death over a two to five year period. So now they're telling me what the fuck they put in me is fucking, it's going to kill me in two to five years, or it may do. The cause of this increased risk is not understood and more research is underway to check and understand the cause of this finding. It cannot at present be known for sure whether the use of this drug has or will in the future cause you any harm and there is no known way of reducing any risk to you. So you've got this, you've got it in you and you're fucking having it. There's no, no we can do, this fuck all we can do, you know. There's nothing we can do. So, you know, the, the, it's got like this increased, uh, <laughs> this increased death over a period of two, a two to five year period. Yeah. I'm not fucking messing with you. I'll fucking show you death. Where are you? Can you see that? Yeah. And I got my mic. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Right, so, anyway. So, options? Uh, just, uh, or, or does it not give you any options? Uh, there is there is no known way of any risk to you. The current guidance issued is that no additional tests on the blood vessels that was treated or additional medication is required. However, as a precaution, the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency have limited the future use of this drug in routine clinical care until more is known on the issue. Then we get the what to do next. <sighs> For the time being, no specific additional tests or follow up at hospital is required apart from what you have been advised following the treatment. We are deeply sorry for this situation and realize that this information may be difficult to accept and process, but we wish to reaffirm that the use of this drug, the drug coated balloon or stent was undertaken with your best interests in mind and was based upon the most up-to-date information available at the time. When further information becomes available to us, we will write to you again. There is no need for you to see your GP specifically about this letter. Then on the other, uh, uh, although no further follow up at the hospital is recommended, should you have any specific concerns, we can provide access to, con to a consultant via telephone consultation in the first instance Outpatient appointments will be made available for those patients that are assessed during the telephone uh, that are assessed during the telephone assessed during the telephone clinics by a consultant as as requiring a face to face consultation. I bollocks that up, which just fuck shit anyway. Please contact the administration team Monday to Friday between fifty. <laughs> between 1500 and 1700 so there's two hours they work the, the fucking team between monday and friday work two hours <laughs> between 15 and 1700 <laughs> on 0142715 who can book you in a suitable telephone clinic so i can get a telephone clinic right now not I had a I had a real problem with this when I first read it, as you know, Adia, because I rung you all not yeah. long after, and when I was reading it, I was in tears, but I couldn't I couldn't finish it because I, I was just like, well, how do you process that? I was, you know. Um, but uh, as I've had time, uh, it's more the way that this information has been conveyed to me. This is telling me that I've got an increased risk of death, and they're not fucking. They're not doing it for no, are they? Yeah. What what uh, struck me is that it's saying that there's this increased um, this increased risk of death, and there's no we can do about it, right? And it reminded me. I'll tell you what it reminded me of. It reminded me of um, the film Apollo thirteen, and at the mm. end when they're just about to come back into Earth's orbit, one of the fucking tech guys goes up to one of the, 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 the other flying 
men and says, well, they're coming in a bit shallow. They might skip off the Earth's atmosphere and go into space. And, the, and the, he says, shall we tell them? And he says to him, well, is there hope we can do about it? And he says, no. He says, well, then you don't tell them. <laughs> so, and that's what, you know, this is this is what they've done. They've, come, they've put now yep. this on me. I'm thinking for the next five years... Is this good? You know, so I've not had best of luck. <laughs> is this gonna be? Uh, is this is this gonna be me? It's, so every twinge, every cough, every fart. Yeah, you'll be thinking, "Oh, hang on, is it, what's this?" Yeah. Well, Watson won't leave me alone <laughs> earlier, and I thought, "Is this it?" Is, do you know what I mean? It's just daft, mm. daft nonsense, but. Uh, Again, it's it's not only done that to it's not just me, it's my wife and my family. Although I ain't told any of my family yet. I've told my raconteur's family before I told anybody else. So uh, um it, but it's uh, I, I'm just aghast at the way that they've done it. That that's that's the the, the main thing for me. I just, it just seems a, a clinical and callous way to Cold. just Cold, yeah, cold as it. Just for an in, for an industry that's supposed to be based on compassion, yeah, and care for yeah. something to be delivered in such a cold manner is uh, well atrocious, isn't it? Really? Well, it's shit, isn't it? It's fucking dog shit. They can, uh, I don't know. You just, <laughs> you just, you, you know, I can't do all, but I can't do all, but uh, just sit here and. Uh, and, and try and uh, just do what I do. Now, like I was putting up, I've not been out of this house since December 8th. December 8th, last time I got out of this house. And it, it's like one boom on top of another fucking bang and a boom and a, a kicking bollocks and then, you know, turn me over and open up me, make me sphincter stretch. It, I, it's just, it just, that's how I feel. It's just... Uh, mm. It's just crap. Just never ending. Just chip, chip, never chip. Ending, away. No. Never ending. And uh, I don't think it's. I don't think it's right. Fair. I don't think that's a fair way to tell somebody that. I don't think that's a. I don't think that's anything. Not a, not a caring industry at all. Don't it don't care about. Oh. Have you yourself thought about well, when I have this telephone consultation, do they say an option is? Take my leg off, and that'll stop any. Uh, no, any no, it's, harm in, or? it's all in there. Mm. It's in there going round me. It, it's over time. It, I could have mm. my leg off, but it, it's it's not, you know I, whatever it does that causes it. Do, it obviously does it at the time that it's you know. My, mm. I think. It, I think they've linked. I think they've linked it to to certain a certain number of deaths, which obviously has. I mean, because they've got they've got even got a time period, two to five years. Mm. You know what I mean? So if I die before then, it's not that. <laughs> it's you know, it's just a just a complete basket case of fucking. I just don't over. I don't even know what. I don't even know what I did. But I'll tell you what, I must have been fucking terrible. I must have been, I must have been Paul Pot in the previous <laughs> life. <laughs> Judas Iscariot, just keep going the list, eh? Yeah, Judas Iscariot. Mm. That was one or other anyway. But uh, yeah, so that's that's uh, what's that dropped through my letterbox this morning. And mm. uh, and really, really. Uh, Balls me day up, but mm. never mind. I'll uh, mm. I'll forget about it tomorrow. No, <laughs> no you won't. <laughs> I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't. But so, tell us about Streamyard. Oh yeah, we uh, here we go. Talking about kindness and compassion. Um, yes, the uh, we we we've got. Um, the pledge pledges of donations to uh, to be able to cover to get the uh, the the next stream yard up uh, 
the, the just a, a basic pay package because I think this what's going to happen. This is the free version has it, it's it started restricting already, um, and so it's down to we can only do twenty hours a month. I mean that's not bad. I mean for for us, but. Um, there's lots of different features about the basic package. It's only the basic package that we're getting yeah, yeah. Um, that we can then stream multi-stream. And I've got it in writing. You've seen it. I've yeah, shown yeah. it earlier because I, I actually emailed them. Um, uh, I emailed them about a multi-streaming. Um, uh, and they, they emailed me back and said, yeah, you can do it to two to two um, locations. So that's all I want to do is Facebook and YouTube. Anyway, I don't go on any other ones that they put be a Twitch. I don't know what that is. I thought that were like, you know, when you were a bit horny and you'd not had none for a bit and you just, you know, you start to Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Only you. <laughs> well, you, you never know here. No. You just don't know. No. Yeah. So we've got the, yeah, we've got the, the kind pledges and thank you to the, to the people that um, uh, to the people that have that have made those pledges, and uh, it's it's going to get better. It's going to get great. I've got um, I, I've got plans. I've got you, plans. I've got you, a lot of time you, on my hands. Got a couple of you've got a couple of people in the diary, haven't you? Again, I've got yeah. I've got uh, I've got a couple of people that I'm going to have on next week. Um, one of them uh, I'm going to have Rob Alford on as well. Rob Alford's being in touch and wants to talk. I think we're going to be talking about the Australian bushfires that are going on over there. Um, but I think uh, that's what I'd prefer to talk about. But he was, um, I think he was wanting to talk about Iran and Iraq. But uh, I'm sure we'll get a bit out of him. So Rob's going to be coming on soon. Um, also, somebody's been, uh, oh, is it? Oh, God, this. Rob. No, 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 no. No. Um, well, someone's introduced me to a couple of different people that um, uh, <laughs> old super leaders put raconteurs new. Should I send you the money now if you are going to die? <laughs> <laughs> Should I not send you the money now if you're going to die? <laughs> no, there's no point if you're going to be dead. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, listen, there's things in place for if I do, so I'll be reanimated. So don't worry about it. I'll be what like, we need to do corner. is get a black background there at your house now with you wearing a black jumper and keep your arms down, right? And then just light your face up so that you look like a floating head. Yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. <laughs> get everybody thinking. <laughs> Oh, somebody put up a thing and all. Um, put, put, I saw a picture on one of these what, Facebook thing, and it were uh, you know I do, on tech Facebook you won't know because you're not on. But on Facebook there's been this ten year challenge thing. So people post a picture of themselves ten years ago and then a picture of themselves now, right? And so then you know all the so they've got even more pictures for the for the picture recognition system. That's they, the in. facial recognition thing and, On and 5G. Also, they're also able to map how somebody will age, you know, and yeah. that all that technology and yeah, gonna, but, uh, but nobody thinks of that. They just put up all these uh, biometric things of themselves on the internet to be stolen and used and sold. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Well, there were one on, uh, and it had got it had got on left side. It had got twenty ten, and it got a picture of Derek Akora. And then, <laughs> and then on the other side, at twenty twenty, it had got like a sheet, a ghost sheet, you know, like a kid's, like a Scooby Doo a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh dear. You can see yeah, that coming. <laughs> people do that shit, don't they? Ten year challenge. Oh, let's do a ten year challenge. Oh, all right then. But, but we were we were talking about it last night, me and my missus. You know all these challenges that they had on the on they've had on Facebook. You know, like fucking ice bucket challenge, oh, ice bucket, yeah, yeah, and, and fucking planking and all that sort of shit that they get people to do. What? 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 
Come on, for fuck's sake. Yeah. I'm going to put a bucket of water over my head. What's it for? I don't know. Just for, for Facebook, I suppose. I, 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 yeah. I, what can you say? It, it's cheap laughs, it's cheap entertainment, but it's why it's done. You know, the thing with the 10-year pictures for the face recognition, um, the other stuff, it's just to get traffic through so that they can sell it for advertising. Mm. It's just money, 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 money. It's a rich man's world. Thanks. Yeah, see? I love I'll it be, when you finish my sentences. I'll be the Bjorn to your <laughs> Agnetha. <laughs> please, please don't. Well, you're blonde. <laughs> <laughs> That's not blonde. Yeah, oh, on, bald. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you Ron Malcolm's put, if you're looking to Greta, it gets deep. What? What? If you're looking to what of Greta? <laughs> if you're looking to Greta's what? <laughs> um. Uh, Mark Shield dis destroyer. He had. Uh, I thought he had quite a good take on her. Greta? Yeah. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? I mean, a kid don't do that on her own. I mean, kids can't do fuck all these days, can they? They can't even fucking read a map. Listen, my fucking stepson, listen to this, my stepson, right, and, uh, his car, you know this Astra that he bought? Well, it, apparently it were an old rental car. Oh. So, anyway, it needed a new engine, but anyway, they, they did it for him, but we were obviously off-road for a bit, so he bought his Senna Fiesta just to knock about in. Um, so he buys his Fiesta, and then he rings us up one day, and he says, because Danielle's car's over at my mum and dad's, it's just off-road, we don't need two cars at the minute, so it's just off-road. Um, so he said, to, uh, can I use your car, because my car's broke down, my Fiesta, Fiesta's broke down. Oh, oh right, well, you can't, because Emmy's got it, right, because Emmy had got it, her car had broke down. So, anyway, turns out, his Fiesta had broke down, do you know what had happened? He got a flat tyre. No. Yep, and he was prepared to spend good money to ensure his mother's 1.6 litre focus to, simply because he got a flat tyre, and that to him were broken down. It were broke down. <laughs> what? Eh? It'd have been cheaper to ring the AA and go, "Hello, I know I'm not a member, but can you come and get me and do this, and I'll pay you for my year's membership." It'd have been what? cheaper to do that. Well, it'd have, been, it'd have been easier to get a foot pump, like you know, like we did in old days. <laughs> yeah, what a sort of man! One of his stupid skinny legs and his stupid skinny jeans. God, yeah, you know, Jesus Christ, a foot pump, or you know, drive it on flat. Put or put spare on. He got spare. <laughs> Tell you what, you, you can't buy a car with a spare now, can you? I don't know. I think they've all got to one of them stupid little gas canister things. No, oh, one of them yeah. things that, like, you know, even if you've just got a puncture that you could have done for a tenner, yeah. it, like, knackers old tyre up. Yeah, so that you've got to buy another one. So how environmentally friendly is that? Uh, mad, isn't it? Exactly. It's not environmentally friendly, is it? Nobody cares about environment. God, it's no. all a money-making scam. Yeah, of course it is. Oh, of course it is. So what what else are we bitching about then? What come on, what were you? Uh... Do you know I had uh... what we I did put I did have something else. I'm, if anybody's got any ideas what you want to, what you want us to bitch about um what or you want our opinion on um <laughs> It's up to you, right? You know, <laughs> careful what you wish, <laughs> careful just what you wish for. <laughs> just put, potholes are Satan, says Galaxian. Potholes are Satan. Oh, God, I agree with that. Oh, yeah. God, then. Um, Emmy uh, did another tyre uh, at... Uh, in a pothole, like. She knew what pothole were there, mm. but... 
she accidentally went through it and boom, another tyre. It's the, they're all over the place. But I, it's not that many years ago. Probably only maybe ten years ago. Um, I did that, and uh, went. I took pictures of it and everything. It's just down at Woodhouse, and um, I think when I actually got the, I mean, they they paid for the tire, and because I mean, it bent, oh, it bent a couple of things on the car as well. It weren't just a tire it did. Um, they all were that bloody big, and uh, apparently there have been about hundred people done it, and all took pictures and gone to the council and go, "Your potholes done this," and they paid it out. Oh, uh, they paid me out. They will do it because it's cheaper than. Well, I don't think they care about how much fucking money they waste, do they? Yeah, they probably take it to give you it, man. It's just got to that point where they can't fix anything because they're too busy paying compensation to people. For damage that was done because they didn't maintain something. There's a fucking madness in that. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't maintain. Yeah, and it's not like hard, is it? Fucking, you could have a shit in a, a some of potholes and. Fill well, them I've out. always found it a bit bizarre as well that a road that we pay for, we can be fined for parking on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we it. pay for it. It doesn't make any sense. It's like all else. It doesn't make no sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. It's um, the the whole entire world doesn't make any fucking sense. No. What's uh, uh, you, you've um, you 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 were telling me uh, you you I, I don't know whether you want to talk about it, but you're a bit like um, a bit peeved at the moment, shall we say? And um, yeah. I'm just, um, I don't know, I think I, I've, sort of, I've I've got a bit of a pension. It's not, you know, it's not mountains of money by any stretch. And hopefully it'll have to last me a long time. But sadly, n none of us know that how the day we're going to die, do we? Well, you do, next two to five years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, I knew that we'd find an upside. <laughs> <laughs> So, I've kind of got to decide at what point in my life do I stop working or, you know, do something else that's, you know, doesn't take all my time up and, and sort of live off this pension. But I can't get to it just yet, but it's not that far away. Um, and my initial thought is I haven't got enough money to live in England. But I have over in Asia. So um, it, it's kind of getting to that point where I'm... It's not just something I'm considering. It's something I'm wanting to make a big decision about. Right. Because it's just getting nearer and nearer. And if I actually sold all the, well, things that I think are reasonably valuable that I, well, I don't mean the like work I ain't got any old antiques um but you know um just general stuff um at a push you know I could realistically in six months time do it knowing that you know what I'd sort of sold and whatever would get me through till me my pension was so I'm I'm kind of on that borderline where yeah, it's a big decision to say to yourself, right, that's it. The money that I've got is all the money I'll ever have. I can never earn any more. Is you know, it's a it's a big unit. Oh, of course it is. Yeah, it's, it's your entire life. I mean, you don't you 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 don't want to end up coming back as a fucking you know. You go, you don't plan it properly, and then you end up coming back, and you've not. You've you've not got anything that you'd already built up before you left. You know what I mean. Mm, mm. You, so it's it's a big decision. So you're only going to do it once. Mm. Yeah, and hopefully not come back. And and I don't mean that in the in the um, in the horrible way. I don't mean no. that in the way that I don't want you to come back. I mean, uh, just don't come back. You know, stay there and live a better fucking life. It's because it is a better life, isn't it? Oh, mate, honestly, I um. I, I, it is it is a different culture 
but I can bitch and moan about what goes on here as much as I want because I was born here. Whatever my ancestry is, doesn't matter. I was born here. So I can bitch and moan and get feel downtrodden by this system that we have to live under, knowing that it's fucking corrupt. I can make as much noise about that as I want because I was born here. But when you go to somebody else's country, because I've got no right to say, hang on a minute, I don't agree with that, I wasn't born there. So as far as I'm concerned, whatever the rules are over there, I have to either live by or leave. Yeah. So any, I suppose, a, a, a bit, and what I'm saying is, if I do go over there, any, any stress in my life about trying to change things has gone. Yeah. In, in you have words, changed. It, you have it, changed it, the world. You've changed your world. Yeah, because I, I, you know, I because I've I found a way of being able to jump off the roundabout. I'm just so sad that I couldn't take everybody else off the big roundabout with me. But you know, I don't know. Well, I'll come and see you. I'll hop on a plane and hey, come and see. You. <laughs> if if how long you got? Did you say before you can go? <laughs> mm, I, yeah, realistically, within sort of six months, I could be, you know, seriously thinking, right, what am I going to do? Uh, but really, it's I've got cramp in my thigh. Hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> seriously, I've got really bad cramp in my, in my left thigh. I can't move. <laughs> oh. oh, welcome to 24 hours in A&E here. Oh. Uh, Wow, With God. me, Jason Holmes ah! and Aid Hardy having a bit of a fit at the moment. Oh, 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 that looks quite bad. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. It's a live death on Rackleter's News from oh, Cramp. I beat your two to five years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's a good job nobody's really watching. Why do you laugh? I don't laugh at pain. If I laughed at pain, I'd be fucking doing it all the time. <laughs> oh, man. That's because... Okay, God, it's a long time since I've had that. Um, when they fixed my right leg, they stole some muscle from on the top of my left leg. <laughs> so if ever I do get cramp, it's where... The, <laughs> oh, shit. It's where that muscle um, was um, harvested from. Oh. God, I haven't had that for about about two years. Shit. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, everyone's loving this. They're calling it AIDS cum face. <laughs> oh, fuck. John, John T.I., good evening, John. Oh. Uh, yeah, get AIDS cum face. Blazing Star says you're having an orgasm. <laughs> uh, Lead says he's only got two to five years. I don't know who he's talking about there. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to... Go get a I need to go stretch my leg and get a drink. Keep All going. right, mate. You're going to have a... <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Someone having a live orgasm and cramp at the same time. Oh, dear me. Oh, suit you, sir. Suit you, sir. <laughs> Aidy's out. Uh, Dinny's just put, why are, we, why are we laughing? For fuck's sake, lol. It's... Uh, <laughs> Because aidy has got cramp. aidy has got the worst cramp that's ever been had. And now he knows what it's like to have a baby. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. shit. <laughs> oh, dear me. Aidy, you're the only person I know that laughs when they're in pain. It would have been a lot better on Ward if, I'd, if everyone were like you. Shit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> God, it's a good job this doesn't go out live. Under four up four zero zero four says I'm laughing my nuts <laughs> off. What's it like? <laughs> tonic water apparently is good for cramp. Get send some tonic water. Put some gin in it and all. I can't, I can't get into it. Oh, fuck. 
Oh, dear me. Oh, he's having a flashback to Thailand, someone said. (laughs) 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 That's the mouth he... That's that's the uh, the, the, the face he pulled when he was having a golden shower. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, oh, shit. Oh, come on. Stand up, man. Stand up, someone says. (sighs) Well, I think they're talking to you. Is it? <laughs> was it Simon? <laughs> no, it were it were Ron. No, Ron says. Simon. Simple Ron says. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, here he, look at him. There, he's gone. He's gone. You, yeah, watch it. This is back on the zoom. Oh, there he goes. Oh, look at that. There, there was a sharp increase of the cramp at that very moment. Uh, we can we see that in a VAR? Is the v, uh, VAR situation? Oh, oh. Was he offside when he got cramp? <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, man. Oh. oh. So Paula B says, jump up and down with a bag of clementines in one hand and a bag of mixed nuts in the other. It won't help the cranberry, it'll make you laugh. He's already <laughs> laughing. You don't need... <laughs> it is the best medicine, isn't it? Laughter is the best medicine. Better than that oh. fucking shit they put in my leg. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, there he goes. Aidy's just nipped off. For a, a wee walk, as uh, as Dinny put it in there, um, a seven for style from Paul. A good. Uh, I, I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if seven. I think it's probably a little bit uh, a little bit overboard. I think probably about a six. <laughs> yeah, and Super League says which one's going to die first. <laughs> uh, Nick GB says that leg needs to come off. Lol. <laughs> oh, brilliant! Oh, yeah. This is what we do. It's, um, you don't want to be watching news because you just talk crap. You want to be watching raconteurs' news, like what you are now, because that is not crap. And then you get crap, but it's cramp, not crap. The uh, the mainstream media is crap. We are cramp. All right. So, uh, and that's not our style. So. He wants to achieve greatness. He's going to have to stop asking for permission. He's back. Look at him. There he goes. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Stick your thumb up your arse, Ron Malcolm says. I think that's uh, probably... Mm. No, I think... Um... Trouble is, Ron, he's got fat thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I have fat thumbs. I've heard people calling people with fat thumbs. No, I think what it is, I've uh, I've changed my diet considerably in the past, well, f- few days, on not really? And uh, I'm sure it's my body adjusting. Oh, shit. Oh, but, oh, your body's saying, get some fucking bob on your cunt. <laughs> yeah. oh, I ain't had a drink. What date is it? Right, right now, a week or something. Ninth. A little more than then, yeah. I'm trying to think if I actually had a drink on New Year's Eve. I don't know, honestly, I don't know. I think I were in bed about 20 past 11. So I don't think I, I had, have. Yeah. I had a drink New Year's Eve and then uh, I went out burgling in my wheelchair. Yeah, of course you I'm did, a, yeah. I'm a, I'm a wheelchair burgle on a little <laughs> <laughs> It's like a cat burglar, only you know, not quite as quiet, not as agile. Not, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Not quite as quiet. Yeah, I always get caught because I've got squeaky wheels. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me! Well, anyway, anybody got anything they want us to talk about? Let's just. Uh... Just well, we've well, we we'll probably do another fifteen or twenty minutes. Well, you're, you're up for that, eh? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. If, I if anybody, bloody cramp. Let's have a look what's going off on um, Sky News. Let's have a look on Sky News. Let's see if we're at war yet. I'd noticed we were at war, weren't we? And then, then uh, Trump... perpetual war because that's what they like doing. They like making excuses to sell bombs to the mates. 
Yeah, but what did Trump do? We did the other day, like pussy that, didn't he? You know, because Tehran said, like, no, 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 you've like done this to us. We're going to kick your head in. And, I and, think and, he, I think he's in a bit of a quandary where he, he knows that he's got to go for Iran because it's on the list, but he knows it's not going to be good for votes and he probably won't get a second. Um, I think he would. They love it. war, Americans. They love mm. it because they've never fucking been in one. So, no, not at this generation anyway. And they've never mm. had it on their own soil. Yeah, they and that's the point you made earlier. Yeah, they've never had it on their own soil, have they? No. And so, you know, it's. Uh, I, I'm not belittling anything that the Americans did in Second World War, or any anybody that uh, that were, you know, that were signed up and did something. But the, the the Americans, they they love a war. They do love a war, and I think they think uh, it's good for business, and it, and it is good for business. So it's the only business that's guaranteed to make money. Let's have a look. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, that fucking hell. Top story. Royal staff given days to work out how <clears throat> Harry and Meghan can step back from their roles. Well, fucking hell, I, I don't need teaching how to step back. Do you? Just it's step back and say, I'm not doing that anymore. See all that stupid crap you, you get me to do? Oh, and shit, and, and, and talk to people and that. I don't want to do it. That's all he's saying. Or, or they're saying to him, "Look, you know, you you married half, half well, you married a half of a nigger or some, or however they see it. Uh, you know, we're not having you in the family. Get out, because it's you know, it might have been mentally for her. It might have been where, well, when I just had to get rid of Andrew, and now you, you can fuck off too. Yeah, you don't know which side it's come from, do you? Just how it's being spun." Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, it, to, to be fair, there's there's not much about. Um, it's just crap. But somebody's brought up this uh, this plane crash in Iran. Ooh, um, not seen that. Have you not? No, uh, there were a plane that crashed. Uh, oh, I think was a few couple of days ago, but it were leaving an airport in Tehran. It were a Ukrainian. Um, Ukrainian Airlines jet and uh, not long after it set off it, it crashed and there's people saying that it were trying to go back and then the, the, the Americans are saying that it were hit by a missile from you know it, it was shot down by Iranians and yada 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 I don't know what uh, I, I don't know I don't know what the the uh, I don't know what they're trying to do I don't know what the outcome is but it's clearly Fuck me! It's clearly so much happened, doesn't it? It's not been shot down. It's it's been shot down. Who's it been shot down? Just shouting for the political gain with the situation, and yeah, nobody really they... knows which one's full of shit and which one ain't. But we do. We know. Mm. We know that uh, oh, that's got an American flag on it. It's full of shit. Yeah. Oh, guaranteed. Absolutely. Uh, d -d 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 yeah, ridiculizer says I suppose I don't have a solid opinion yet. In all honesty, I don't know. I've not had a look. I've not really looked into it. I've, all I've seen is things on social media. I, I tend to try to not look at stuff that's going to try and sway me one way or another. That's complete bullshit. So I'll, I'll miss mainstream media out because I might listen to what they've got to say. But mm. I'm not taking any of it in. But then I'll also listen to what fucking these alternative people are going to say. It's always and, that who benefits, isn't it? In well, this it situation, who, who who is benefiting from it? Well, no, yeah, I, I know. I understand what you mean. I understand what you mean. But it's it's. I think it's. I think it's more fucking. It's more. It's deeper than that. You know, I think they, uh, we're not getting it. I think the people that are watching it, most people that are watching this thing, you know, uh, people suspend belief, suspend mm. disbelief for, while they're watching a, a film or whatever. I think they, they do that pretty much when they're watching news as well. They suspend the disbelief because if they disbelieve it, then but that has implications, doesn't it, for what else is around them. The, the environment, isn't it? 
Eh? It's the Emperor's new clothes. I've never seen, do you know, I've never got that because I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I've never heard about it. I, I've never got that. The, I know it's the Emperor's got, no, he's got fuck all on. Yeah. But they all think he's got like these robes and everything, but he hasn't. And just, because like, these tailors said he'd got these beautiful robes. Yeah. You know, yeah. When he hadn't, yeah. and then there was one kid who went, what do you mean Emperor's new clothes? He's naked. And, 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 and that, you know, and that's that's what you've got there. You've got, you know, it's, it's just it's, who's benefiting from all this? Oh, uh, ridiculizer! Abel Danger's page apparently had a lot of info on it. Um, site was down yesterday. Um, I, I just tread carefully with Abel Danger because that's um, what's his face in it. Um, Oh God! Uh, what's what's his name now? Pat Cross won't tell me his name. Mm -mm. Oh fucking hell! Uh, he's got he's got one of them like typical typically American names. So sort of like fucking Chuck Tit Wank or something. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, no. Able Danger is, is his website, and um, I just. Just tread a little bit carefully when we, uh, when when we're talking about. Uh, well, just just yeah. Field Field McConnell, that's his name. Yeah. Field McConnell. Yeah. Just uh, just be, just tread carefully. That's all I'm going to say when it comes to Field McConnell. I met him one time, and um, yeah. Uh, do you know what? It, it might sound like a bit. It might sound a bit like um, sour grapes, but it it really weren't. And you know what, mum like. You know what my my radar's like. Yep. And I met Field McConnell, and I were introduced to him. I think Andy introduced me to him. And. Uh, it was just one of them. It was just one of them things. I had. I had. A, I looked him in the eyes, and he lo he looked back at me, and then he wouldn't talk to me at all. He he just completely blanked me for the whole time we were in there. Mm. The whole time he was getting t he got these t shirts that were giving away. Able danger, able danger, and he's giving them all the way to everybody. He won't give me one. He won't give me one. I didn't want one, but he didn't want to give me one. <laughs> Andy tried to get, oh, no, oh, no. I think Andy tried to get me one to do uh, gamble for Jason. Uh, you know, anyway, that just, just be careful. Tread carefully, anyway, when it comes to Field McConnell. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I want to say about that. Hmm. Well, I think we'll... Uh, We'll wrap it up in uh, five minutes. Let's see what's on. There's just no news, look. Because it's all swallowed up by that royal, not royal shit, isn't it? BAFTA to review voting process after va diversity backlash. The fuck's that? What Megan wants, Megan gets royal experts on the Sussexes. So, yeah, it's her fault. Yes, yes, I felt we are okay, we're doing well, we're covering up that his father was really his father all these years, and then suddenly that comes along and takes us. Okay, now. You know, the people will, will just stick up for now, but I guess... Well, what's his surname going to be? Who's? Sussex. I don't know. Because he can't keep calling him that because he's not. Now they'll have to call him Windsor or something, won't they? Mind you, he's not is that, Windsor, is he? Is the is the um is a Sax Coburg Gothery duty? Yeah, yeah, I know that. Well, he's not even one of them, is well, he? Well, no, it's Guelph, isn't it? <laughs> he's <laughs> one. Huh? Well, yeah. No, actually, <laughs> no, he's not. He's more of a goldsmith, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And a Hewitt. He's a goldsmith and a Hewitt, really, isn't he? <laughs> but these these royal correspondents. I mean, what what the? F how do you get a job as a royal correspondent? I'm just going to sit there and write shit about fucking royal family. 
I'm going to like get you know I'm going to ingratiate myself into them by licking their asses, um, and then um, I'll get you know and they, they never like them anyway. Do you remember that one where Prince Charles were they were doing a photo shoot we um, in a ski resort with kids when 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 Harry and William were younger. Oh yeah, yeah. And it, it, it was royal correspondent for um, BBC. And Charles were caught on his mic saying, uh, I, I really, I really hate that man. I really dislike him. I really hate him. So they, they know what they like, but they'll take that because they, you know, they're getting, oh, fucking hell, a fucking royal correspondent. Oh, royal correspondents as well. Put them on list. Oh, yeah. They've got to go on list. We should be compiling a list. A list of people after the revolution who are going to be cleaning our toilets. And, yes. And, yeah. And, you know. But for past services to uh, mankind. Yeah, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to, uh, they're going to pay. <laughs> they're going to pay in kind. To be, by being kind. <laughs> yeah, wankers. Fucking lot of them. So, uh, Terra Probe. Yeah, I watched that White House farm thing as well. It was shit. Well, it's not going to tell you much, is it? It, it? it was completely an utter bollocks. So I'm going to go and try, I'm going to try and get them on again. Uh, the um, the Jeremy Bamber yeah. campaign. Yeah, of course. Um, Snow Gallagher. So no Gallagher. Mm, fucking hell. Do, do you know, the, these, they come up all the time. What? Again, this is silly. This is, a, this is news. <sighs> oh, here we go. So they've named some new uh, gritters. <laughs> what? You know, you know how to get gritters names? Manchester County in Manchester. So City Council asked for suggestions on Twitter for names for these uh, gritters. These oh, you mean gritters. a bit like Eddie Stobart names his lorries? Well, you know how they had this this time where it were um, where everything were they were all they got a boat and they said, "Can we we need name boat?" And they called oh, it boat, 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 boat face. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And like I, I was all for, <laughs> I was all for changing the name of this country from the UK to Country McCuntface. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but anyway, they, 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 oh, they've got these. So, so some of these names for these gritters: Snowell Gallagher, <laughs> Gritter Thunberg. <laughs> I like that. Basil Salty. <laughs> Grit Astley. Ooh, thin. Snowby Gone Kenobi. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> I know, but is it news? <laughs> it's funny. Oh, yeah, it's funny, yeah, but is it, should it be news? I mean, they, they should have an entertainment page for funny things. <laughs> yeah, some you know somebody got a sense of humor. Yeah, all right, <clears throat> right. <laughs> the royal family celebrate Kate's birthday as the Sussexes step back. Ah, oh, you <laughs> see, there you go. Is that another thing? Um, what a day to announce it on. <laughs> Who benefits? Oh, because yeah, yeah. uh, you know any publicity is good publicity, isn't it? Oh, fan fancy announcing that on her birthday. <gasps> you know, Can so you if they are cross? trying to set up a brand, you know, and be like the next Mr. and Mrs. Beckham. Yeah. You know, you know, any, any publicity is good in that case, isn't it? Well, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. <sighs> well, I think we're just about... There's no one news. Look at this. It's just fucking pathetic. Main headlines. There's no about Iran at all. Nothing about Iran. Anything about France? Oh, no, not be all about France. Fucking hell. 
Um, Canadian PM say, oh, here we go, Trudeau, that Trudeau, Justin Trudeau. Yeah, yeah. The Canadian PM says, evidence shows Jet was shot down, but Iran denies it. Well, they would do, wouldn't they? That's what they'd do. If they've done it, they're going to deny it. <laughs> It's, uh, Who benefits, eh? Iran plane cache images of missile which begin speculation it was shot down. <laughs> NASA images show third of Kangaroo Island burned by bushfires. Have you seen these images from supposed satellites in Australia? Mm. Now, how, I mean, I don't think it's on that much fire, but we'll find out from... Rob Halford, unless he's fucking been succumbed to it, like, you know, he's been burned at the stake, as it were, as a witch. Mm. <laughs> Which, uh, when uh, when do you think we're going to be able to get to uh, get Rob on, on for? I'll be able to get him on next week, easy. I'll get him on Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, okay. We're all right Mondays and Tuesdays. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Man die. What about this one? Man dies four years after co-worker poisons his sandwich. Four years? Four years. Now, that is a headline with more questions than answers. Oh, my night. Oh, dear. Fucking... Man dies in Germany four years after his colleague poisoned his sandwich with mercury. The 26 year old, oh, right. So the 26 year old was in a coma for four years after his work co worker laced his field with mercury. And now he's now he's obviously farted. So a German, a man in Germany died four years after eating a sandwich, his co worker poisoned with mercury. So it's, it, it's all right though, if you're in, in vaccines and that, you're, you're all right, don't matter. It's not poisonous then. <sighs> The 57-year-old man identified as Klaus O for privacy reasons. Oh, I mean, come on. <clears throat> Four years after... Uh, second most powerful person in Iran, a profile. Iran crisis, the story so far. It's got to be true. Iran US relations still incredibly precarious. Justin Bieber, I'm not on meth. I've got Lyme disease. Hmm. Bothered. Who cares? Decap oh fuck off. They just make this shit up. I'm telling you, they just make this fucking shit up. Go on what? Uh, you've seen Titanic, haven't you? Yeah. Right, here's a story. Who, who, other day, who were getting fucking Ricky Gervais would gain, get DiCaprio some stick, didn't it? Mm. Right. <clears throat> DiCaprio helped save man from drowning after cruise ship fall. <laughs> He's, he, caught, he caught that bird, did he, in Titanic from jumping <laughs> off the edge? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, well, mm. I'm, I'm convinced. Is that Me hot? too, yeah. That yeah, cause do, yeah, but next week you'll be working on Wall Street for real. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Queen are asked to play Live Aid style gig to help Australia fire victims. So, who's that? Is that koalas? I mean, and and I'm don't, not to, I don't, I've not heard of any deaths. Has there been any many deaths? Do you, do you know? I honestly do, do not know. At least 56 killed in stampede at brutal ceremony for Iranian general. Burial ceremony. It's just, just fucking utter nonsense. No, you know, Boris is just getting a free ride at the moment, isn't he? Just does what he wants. Mm -hmm. um, I've noticed they've put some more cuts and stuff through it. I can't remember where they're at, but the, the, while we're all looking at Megan and... What's his face? H. Big yeah. H, as they call him. Nah, Dan. He's, nah, Dan. He'll be down feathers on, on weekend. He always puts his hand in his pocket. 
does old H. H uh, H uh, H U it. <laughs> H H. Good old H H. <laughs> hey dear me. Stupid, stupid, stupid world. Well, this has been us tonight. Um, thanks to everyone who's had a listen. It was just like a and, and with that that letter that the NHS sent me that really pissed me off that made me want to come on. Yeah. Um so uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be back um Monday, I think. Monday or yeah. Tuesday, well, it'll be Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, just give me a shout, mate. No, I, I've got a couple of guests I, I I can get in, so I can fit in. So yeah, we'll and we'll have guests Monday and Tuesday. Um and uh, we'll move forward from there. And we'll see how long it lasts. We'll see how long exactly. I last. Yeah. All right. See you later. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you soon. Bye. Ooh. Yes, and the broadcast.